Hey guys, Kadoo Ambassador Dave Naroda here today to talk about the all new Gen 5 in the Summit and cleaning your clutches for either the first ride of the season uh, as well as cleaning and adjusting your belt. Now, why I suggest you do this for the first time that you, uh, when you get your machine is, even if the dealer did a really good job of cleaning your clutch area, it's good for you to go in and ins inspect it. So especially if you're new, you can actually see what a clean clutch area looks like and how your belt is adjusted properly. And then I do this anywhere from every three to six rides, depending how long those rides are, depending if it's deep pow or if I'm sled skiing, um, I'll just t make a visual inspection and then do as needed. But it's a really good thing to get in the habit of. It doesn't take much time and it will really increase the performance of your Summit snowmobile. So the things we're gonna need are, we're gonna need some SC1. This is probably the best clutch cleaner that is out there. You can also use a brake cleaner that leaves no residue. We're gonna need some shop towels to clean. We're gonna need a air compressor right here. And the first thing we're gonna do is actually lift this latch, open up our side door, and we're gonna remove the tools, the clutch tool and also the wrench that's included. And we're gonna set that aside. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to remove all the straps. So there's one, two, three, four, and then this lever goes down of course, and then we'll take this clutch cover slides right off. And I am going to talk a little bit about this. I run toe holds and the lever does work with those toe holds. Um, as you can see, I use these because they're probably one of the best things to add to your sled. They allow you to use your feet to actually maneuver the sled. Your feet will never get caught in these. They do make an adjustable one, but it does not fit with this lever. So you'll have to run these rigid toe holds. Now, uh, first we're going to talk about is the inside CVT uh, area is all, door is all as one now. And it butts up against it because, so it makes this area totally uh, tight. No engine heat getting in. And how this works is cold air is drawn in through this vent, circulates using the splines on the on the secondary and whips that around coming out of this vent as well as your left foothold. Now one of the common things that you might need to do is clean these vents because of all the belt dust. So this is where we use our compressor is just to blow a little bit of air out of this. And you can see, I don't know if you, the camera can show that, but you can see as I do it, if you just do it lightly, you'll see all that dust come out of there and it just cleans, you've got a good light, you can actually see how the difference that makes and now it's nice and clean keeping that window clean and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to clean this area and what I do the easiest thing to do is take your SC1 spray it into a rag like this and then what you're going to do is you're going to wipe all this down okay and uh, I'm going to do not as good a job as I do normally, but look at that. This is literally after 100k on this sled. Um, you're going to get, especially on initial breaking of the belt, you're going to get lots of belt dust and lots of dirt in there and you really want to keep this area clean. So you want to make this as shiny as possible. So you could eat, if you're Aaron Leland, you can eat a hot dog off it. Um, and just keep it nice and clean. All right, so once we do that, we're going to set that aside and remember we've cleaned those vents out with the compressor. The next thing I do is we'll take the compressor and give it a really good squeeze. Any crap out there, and you want to stand back if there's you don't really want to breathe in brake dust, but keep everything clean out of there. A little sticker, get rid of that, and now we have that. All right. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take our belt off. For those of you who are new who've never done that, you're going to use this tool with the um, thread it in and we're going to thread this in and you want to make sure it goes in easy okay you don't want to strip that and it'll butt against the secondary and push it in you can see the belt dropping now okay and once we get it to this point we can pull the belt over out the back and what's so great about this new clutch area is look how open it is that belt just literally falls out and one thing that you can, you'll notice is how stiff your belt is, okay, when it's new. Like I said, this has 100K on it. 
As you wear through your belt, say 1,000K, you'll notice it'll get a lot flexier. I usually change my belt out at about 2,000 kilometers. Um, it's still good and I can use it as a spare, but the performance will, will degrade over time. And get in the habit of checking it. You'll feel, when, you have, when a belt has 2,000K on it, you'll feel it'll be a lot more flexy and it's time to change it. Instead of blowing a belt in your machine, which is really hard on everything, the, the engine, primary, makes a mess of everything. So try and get in the habit of, of sort of, you know, every time you clean it, oh yeah, it's feeling like it's, you know, it's getting thinner and flexier. Time to replace the belt. All right, then we're gonna take this belt and we're gonna put it in some hot, soapy water and we're gonna clean it all up. And you'll actually see that water turn black just like the, uh, the pad that we had. And you wanna clean it and then hang it out to dry. Then what we're gonna do now that we're in here is we're going to do the same thing with the SC1 and our towel, nice clean area. We're going to take some, spray it on, and we're going to put it on the primary. And you want to make sure, good idea right now, that your key is off, okay? If you're Tony Jenkins, you actually have enough torque to probably start your sled. So you want to have your key off, obviously. And there you go. We're going to take that out. And you can see I've got a little dirt on there. Okay, and you're going to do both sides. Okay, run it around. And what I do is do that. You can see there's a little more on that inside. Use this side now. Spray some more on there. Get your secondary all the way around. And you'll notice over time, if you pay attention to it, how much uh, dirt will build up in there. And you'll see it in there. And when you clean it, and you'll get to know, and after a while, it'll get brake dust will get in here and out here. And we'll take one swipe and look at this. I usually do this at the end. Okay, look at the bottom. Okay, so you want this to be as clean as possible. So the more you do it, the better performance you're going to get out. You know, one thing if you're looking at a sled and this area is totally dirty, the person really hasn't paid much attention to something that's really easy to do and very important to do for performance. So they probably haven't looked after the machine as much as, as they might say they have. So keeping this area clean will really add to your performance. Look at all that dirt there that we've got. Again, I'm not going to do a full job that I normally do, just to show you, okay? So once we do that, we've cleaned everything. It's now time, the belt's dry. Time to install the belt. So your belt does have a rotation arrow right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the belt in. The arrow goes forward. That way, we're going to put the belt up the back here and we're going to move the belt right onto the machine. And now, <clears throat> we can back this out. I move the belt around here. So you're just unscrewing this and you'll see your belt will move around. Okay, and we'll take this out and we'll move the belt and it'll allow this piece. Now this may not go right butt up right against the secondary. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate the sled forward. Okay, I'm gonna use both hands here. And then we're gonna rotate it back. Okay? And now you can actually see it's butted against the, um, the secondary. Now one problem with this that I see right now is if I run my fingernail along the bottom groove, it actually runs into the secondary. This belt sits too low. It's got too much deflection. You're gonna get poor performance. So how to adjust your belt tension is what we're gonna do is again, we're gonna use this tool and we want the belt to go up higher. So if you think of like, of like this, when this nut comes out, the secondary can squeeze more and the belt will come up. If we, if we tighten it, the secondary opens and the belt will go down. So we want this belt to go up, so we want to loosen this nut. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the tool, we're going to loosen off this bolt, okay, like so, and we're going to loosen this out about a quarter of a turn. Okay, we're going to leave it like that. We're going to do the same thing. And move it forward. Okay, now that's a little better. 
and it's still feel that ridge. So I'm going to loosen it a little bit more. If you can't loosen it, you can use your tool to loosen it a little bit of another quarter of a turn. Try that. Okay, I'm actually going to go a little bit more. Okay, again using the tool, another quarter of a turn. Oh yeah, there's a sweet spot, baby. Move it back here. Okay, so now, I don't know how well the camera shows that, but I run this finger and this bottom groove is actually above the secondary. You ideally want it right where the um, string is here. And I still have good tension there, but the belt is sitting in the proper height. And now you know that you've set it up perfectly. So once you know this, you can keep it set up at that height all the time. So it's important every three, I check it every ride, but every two to four rides, check your belt. You can even do it on the hill, pull it out, check it, make that quick adjustment, and uh, that makes sure your sled's gonna be running perfectly all the time. So now we've got everything clean, we've got the proper belt tension, um, we tighten up this bolt, okay, nice and snug, and fill up our oil, put our cover back on, put our tools away and our door back on, and you're ready to ride, baby. So hopefully that helps you um, with cleaning your clutch area, um, cleaning your belt, and adjusting it. Now a lot of people will go online and say, hey, my dealer should have done this, what I say to beginners is, it's good for you to do it even if they've done it properly and perfectly because then you see where your starting point is. And if you're an experienced rider, your dealer's never gonna do a, as good a job as you are and you're gonna make sure of that. So it's good for you to go in <clears throat> and dial it exactly the way you like it, the way you know it. And again, you're starting off from a clean slate and do this as often as you can, get used to it. The great thing about ski product is there's very little to be done. Add oil, add gas, check your chain case, which we'll do in another video, and keep it this area clean. And the thing is going to absolutely rip. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying your sled so far this season. I hope everybody has a wicked and safe season, and uh, we'll see you out in the POW. Of course, if you have any comments, put them in the comments below, as well as if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing this video. Helps me create more videos and hopefully I'm helping you make your machine run better and save you time, energy, and money so you can spend more of that time out riding. We'll see you out in the PAL.